Hey guys, Dr. Sharma here. I've been getting a lot of questions on how to stay organized during your high yield, big important board study time. This is gonna be the couple of months leading up to your step one, and it's gonna be really important to stay organized, and I really think that the best way to do it is to create a schedule. Now, I know creating a schedule is gonna be super annoying, and it's gonna take a little bit of your time, but I'm telling you, if you take that investment and take some time to create a little bit of a schedule for you. It doesn't have to be to the hour. I know a lot of people who, myself included, um, sort of did it day by day. You didn't exactly have to do it per hour, per half an hour or 15 minutes that you're supposed to be doing something necessarily. But I'll give you an example of what one of my friends did. They posted hour by hour. It's also what I did at the beginning until I really got down to the last month. At that point, I was kind of just doing a lot of questions. but. Really, you have to stay organized by creating a schedule for yourself. The reason that that's so helpful is because it gets you to go through every single topic of your books that you need to review. Believe it or not, every single page of first aid or pathoma can have a question on it. It could have one to two questions. Honestly, the page about lupus might even have six or seven questions because that topic is super high yield and therefore you have to get through every single page. And the way you can do that is by staying organized and splitting up the chapters of the book and going through them either day by day or every two days and really making your schedule that way. <clears throat> For example, part of your day between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m., those two hours can be used towards first aid studying. And that's exactly what I did for part of my days. What I would do is in the morning, I would do questions. Later on during the day, I would do first aid review, meaning reading through my notes that I've created through first aid questions and sort of just taking mnemonics and doing notes on my own, having lunch, using video materials such as sketchy micropathoma to really review some of the topics and learn things that I don't know, and then most importantly is reviewing your wrongs. That's right. If you make a Word document and just write down the question that you got wrong, maybe even the ID, and then some way that you're going to remember it, if you review it the next day and maybe review it even again the next week, that is going to be one of the strongest things that you can do. Trust me, my practice exam scores increased dramatically after I started using that technique that one of my friends told me about, is reviewing your wrongs and using just a Word doc. That's all you really need. So if you're going to be, so if you're going to be splitting up first aid into day-by-day -day sections and reviewing those sections, uh, remember that some of the bigger topics such as cardiology or neurology is going to require two days to review. Therefore, you should split it up accordingly, but some of the high yield general principles such as pathology and immunology, you can try to like do them in a day, in two to three hours, and use that as a day, and therefore, you'll be getting through first aid, maybe in the span of a month or so. You're going to want to start studying for this exam pretty early, and therefore, getting through first aid at least four times, and as you go through, you're going to be adding more and more notes. Moving on to the high yield organ systems such as cardiology, again, you're gonna require two to three days because that section is a lot bigger. And like reproductive systems, which is one of my weak points, so I really had to focus on that and split up my time and really study for, for that section. The next way to stay organized is to split how many UWorld questions that you wanna get through in a week or a month, or if you wanna just get through UWorld once, split it up in the amount of time of days that you need to get through those questions and start doing them. Just do questions and don't even stop. That is gonna be the second best thing that you can do. Wait, honestly, that's the first most important thing you can do. What am I saying? Doing New World is number one, and then it's gonna be reviewing your wrongs and using first aid and looking through every single page of that book. I was doing between 100 and 200 questions a day, and I know that sounds crazy, but I was pretty much using New World to learn. I was using it to get through my first aid in addition to how I told you to sort of schedule the book into chapters and using them day by day and reviewing those pages. But if you're not getting through your world, you're not doing yourself a service for this exam. Another way that you can really stay organized is to use an application or some sort of software to help you out. Something that you may have to pay for, something like Cram Fighters, is a really good way to split up books and to split up your study time. And then it sort of creates a PDF for you. It's actually really neat and really cool. Um, I ended up not doing that, but I think it's a really helpful tool for you to use, at least for a skeleton of how to schedule uh, when you read certain chapters, certain pages, and then when you do ch like flashcards during the day, by the way. The next important thing about staying organized is to have something during the day or one day of the week that you are required to do something, such as gym time or taking off time to just relax, go hang out with friends, play some video games, listen to music, 
that one to two hours that is absolutely yours, whether it be seven days a week, whether it be one day a week, it doesn't really matter. You have to find that time in order for you to relax and in order for you to shut off. That's actually gonna really help you stay organized. It's gonna help you stay not too cluttered and sort of help you take a step back, get your head out of the water for a second and give you a breather. That's gonna be really important, especially leading up to your exam. Last but not least, just my tip of advice is to try to eat healthy. Um, I know you're probably gonna be stress eating some days of the week, which is totally cool. You're really stressed out and this, is, this exam really can make a lot of people anxious, but try to eat healthy some of the times because you really just need good fuel for your brain. Your brain uses a lot of calories studying for things. Please like and subscribe and if you guys have any other questions or comments, please comment below. Good luck.